They were inaugurated. I'm going to ask you to mask up for the next 100 days. This is not a political issue. And I will issue an executive order to require masks where I have the authority to do that. In federal worker, for federal workers, in federal property, on interstate travel, like trains and planes. We'll also be working with mayors and governors in red states and blue states and, require ma and ask them to require masking up in their cities and their states. Look, I hope we now know this is not a political issue. This is about saving lives. I know it's become a partisan issue, but what a stupid, stupid thing for it to happen. This is a patriotic act. We're asking you, we're in a war with this virus. And experts saying have shown that wearing a mask from now until April will save as many as 50,000 lives. Quite frankly, it was shocking to see members of the Congress while the Capitol was under siege by a deadly mob of thugs refusing to wear a mask while they were in secure locations. I'm so proud of my congressman right here in the state of Delaware, Lisa Brunt Rochester, trying to hand out masks while people are lying on the floor, huddled up, and a Republican colleagues refusing to put them on. What the hell is the matter with them? Time to grow up. Result? At least four members of Congress to date, including a cancer survivor, now have COVID-19 who are in those rooms. For God's sake, wear a mask, if not for yourself, for your loved ones, for your country. We will make America great again.